Hi, this is Adam. Uh, if you're using ClickFunnels and you want to make things a little bit or a lot easier on yourself, uh, Zapier is a really handy tool to use. Okay, so they do have a free version where you can set up um, five zaps, as they call them, but basically five things that will happen. You have triggers and then you have actions. So I'm going to go through one of these. Um, if you want to pay, I think the first tier up from that is like 20 bucks a month. Uh, so if you've got some more complicated stuff, like you want to be notified maybe when, say, there's a sale in your funnels, and then you want to record that to a Google uh, Sheet, and then you also want to send out emails to certain people, and you can even kind of do some iterative stuff like that, you know, that's going to be well worth the 20 bucks or more, whatever uh, plan you go on. But anyways, I just want to show this real quick. A lot of people don't know about this or don't uh, use it. So all you have to do is um, attach your ClickFunnels account. And then you can look for whatever you want as the trigger. Generally, new purchase is what you're going to want to use. All right, I've already attached my ClickFunnels account. If you had not, you would just have to sign in and authorize it. Okay, and then in here, you can go through and select your funnels and your funnel steps. All this is, when you pull this drop down or click on it, you're going to go in, it's going to, Zapier's going to go into your ClickFunnels account and look through all your funnels so you can pick which one you want. Um, so since I don't feel like sharing all of my personal funnels right now, I'm going to select something real quick and then we'll keep going. Okay, we've got our steps selected. Um, with this for a sale, I have chosen the order confirmation page. Obviously, you need to have it uh, hooked up to a step where there's information. Okay, if you're at the very first step in your funnel, there's no information that's been entered yet. All right, and then you're going to uh, fetch and continue. And so we'll do this real quick. All right, and test successful. If you want to, you can view it, and that'll just show you down here all the user information um, that uh, is pulled in, okay? But it says it works, I've already tested this, so we're gonna keep going. Okay, and then we can look at, for this one, I talked specifically about Google Sheets, but there's tons of other options, okay? There's um, you know, a large number of things you can do here. So go to Google Sheets, and usually you wanna create a spreadsheet row. Okay, so when you do that, just click on click, uh, Create Spreadsheet Row, Save and Continue. Okay, and I've got an account I'm gonna use, Save and Continue. And then you need to find a spreadsheet. So I'm going to find the spreadsheet real quick. All right, we found our example sheet that I made. Um, this is the only thing you do need to make this ahead of time. And you need to put column headers on there. And what I mean by that is here's an example sheet with the title. Make it something easy to find so when you look it up. And then whatever columns you're going to put in here or you want to pull data from ClickFunnels, you just need to do it beforehand. And you can go back and edit this, and this is part of the process. But for this example, I just put name and other info. So now when I go in here too, the second question is which work uh, worksheet, and all that's talking about is down here. So when I pull this drop down, you should only see sheet one. And there we go. Okay, and then we can choose what we want to put in here. Okay, now this is the cool part. So what uh, we can choose from over here for other info or name is going to be the information that was pulled out of the new purchase. So when I do this, for example, uh, I'm going to start with name. And there we go. We can start putting things in here like contact first name, contact last name, all sorts of stuff. Okay. So uh, same with other info. You can scroll through and you can put in anything. Yeah, obviously, you can see from the scroll bar there's a huge amount of information uh, that you can put in here. So maybe you want their address and you want uh, their name and maybe the date that the purchase was made, things like that. So you've got a ton of options. I'm just going to put products, HTML body, and name. Okay. And then click continue. This gives you uh, what it looks like and you can test so we can create and continue. All right, it's actually creating a new spreadsheet row for you right now and then you can look at it and make sure everything's okay. So here you go. And then they just put this line in here when they do a test. So they're saying you can test it, please feel free to delete. Uh, all right, the information came in here. Obviously this is not exactly what we would put in here, this is just an example. And then if you need to change it, you can just go back. You can retest, um, you can add a step, or you can go back to editing your template. Sometimes you know, you'll know you want to put in something. If you want to put in multiple items in one line, you can. Or maybe you want to use HTML and put a you know a break in between there so you have spaces or a new line. So there's a lot you can do, but that's, uh, that's the gist of it. Once you are done with it, though, I'm going to keep going here. We're going to say finish. Give it a name. Just going to call this example. And then you need to turn it on if you want this to actually be working. And then, like it says, while on, this app will run instantly when the ClickFunnels new purchase trigger happens. All right, so we just turn it on. There you go. And that is it. If you click see it on your dashboard, you just go back to your dashboard, or you can make another app. 
or zap. So from there, there's some great stuff you could do. You can have notifications from Google Sheets. You could set up another zap to say, uh, send emails to certain people when a new sp uh, spreadsheet row is created. So there's all sorts of things, but hopefully this will get you started using ClickFunnels and Google Sheets.